Most endocrine hormones are circulating hormones. These chemical signals travel through the bloodstream, facilitating communication between a production cell and a target cell. They pass from the secretory cells that discharge them into interstitial fluid and then into the blood. Only target cells with the appropriate hormone receptor will respond to the hormone signal. There are generally two chemical types of circulating hormones. Hydrophobic hormones, like estrogen, are also known as steroids and are derived from cholesterol. These hormones tend to be lipid-soluble. Hydrophilic hormones, like insulin, are based on amino acids, so they tend to be water-soluble. The chemical category, hydrophobic or hydrophilic, determines the method by which the hormone affects the target cell. Hydrophobic hormones are bound to a carrier protein as they travel through the bloodstream. These steroid hormones easily diffuse through the phospholipid bilayer of the target cell's membrane and bind with receptors within the nucleus. This binding forms a hormone receptor complex that directly affects gene expression. Targeted DNA sequences are then transcribed into mRNA. This results in the synthesis of new proteins. The new proteins are often enzymes which alter the target cell's activity. They cause cellular responses that are unique to that hormone. Everything from changing metabolic or contraction rates to the synthesis of other chemicals, including hormones, may be altered under the influence of a hydrophobic hormone. In contrast to hydrophobic hormones, hydrophilic hormones cannot pass through the target cell's membrane. These water-soluble hormones must bind to a receptor on the membrane. When a hydrophilic hormone binds to the hormone receptor, a G protein is activated. The activated G protein stimulates the membrane-bound enzyme adenylate cyclase, which converts ATP into a second signal or messenger, known as cyclic AMP. Cyclic AMP acts to activate pre-existing cellular enzymes known as kinases. In a cascade of events, these enzymes either activate or inhibit other cellular proteins. While the action of the second messenger, cyclic AMP, is short-lived, the net result of the hormone signaling is an alteration of the target cell's physiological response. Even though the mechanism of action is different in water-soluble hormones, the range of physiological responses can be similar to those found in steroid hormones.